What is the depredation policy for the cougars living in Southern California and along the Central Coast classified under the California Endangered Species Act, also known as CESA? The California Department of Fish and Wildlife's approach to depredation shifted in 2017 when its depredation policy was amended to a stepwise permit process for the Santa Monica and Santa Ana Mountains. This shift in protocol added protection for cougars in these areas, requiring non-lethal options to be explored and three depredation by cougar events to be confirmed by California Department of Fish and Wildlife before a lethal permit can be issued. In 2019, the California Fish and Game Commission received a petition to list six genetically distinct cougar subpopulations located in Southern California and along the Central Coast as candidate species under the California Endangered Species Act, or CESA. In February 2020, the stepwise permit policy area from 2017 was expanded from the Santa Monica and Santa Ana mountain boundaries to include the full extent of the proposed Southern California and Central Coast boundary as set forth by CESA petitioners. In April 2020, the commission designated the proposed subpopulations as a candidate species under CESA. Under CESA, candidate species are afforded the same protection as listed species. A primary focus of the stepwise process is to prioritize approaches and actions that are non-lethal in accordance with Fish and Game Code section 4801.5, which provides that non-lethal measures shall be used when issuing depredation permits unless otherwise stated. During the stepwise process, recommended measures may include, but are not limited to, one, remove the carcass and carcass parts of depredated animals, two, install, repair, or replace exclusion fencing and cougar-proof enclosures, three, implement more robust animal husbandry practices, four, deploy temporary deterrent systems, five, use livestock protection dogs, and six, perform hazing, for example, use of beanbag shots. The final decision to issue the lethal permit is the final step in the three-step process and can only be made by the California Department of Fish and Wildlife's response guidance team and not by field personnel and only after all other options have been exhausted and found ineffective.